my name is Konstantin from the Cable, and uh, in this video series we'll be taking a look at how to operate the Cable DTF Multicut Pro together with Fiery Digital Factory. Enjoy! Hi, this is Konstantin from the Cable, and I'd like to welcome you to our video series about the Cable DTF Multicut Pro. In this video we'll be taking a closer look at the first time setup in Digital Factory. Before we actually start, you need to make sure that you have an up-to-date version of Digital Factory version 11 with the cutter module activated installed. First, we're going to install the driver for the Cable DTF Multicut Pro. To do so, we're going to click on Devices in the menu bar, select Manage Devices, and in the dialog that opens up, we're going to install a new cutter. You can simply search for Cable and we'll be presented with uh, the Cable DTF Multicut Pro. By confirming with OK and hitting Next once, it'll automatically download the most recent driver from, from the cloud. I'm just going to wait for this dialog to refresh itself. Next up, we're going to define the cutting processes that will be used in all of your queues. To do so, we click Devices in the menu bar, then Manage Processes. We want to make sure to define two processes, the knife and the perf cut process. In the knife process, we want to enable the trailing blade correction. With the default knife that comes with the machine, we want to set up the angle threshold to 45 degrees and the blade correction to 0.3 millimeters. If you use a different kind of knife, you might need to use different settings here. Um, we're going to repeat the same settings for the perf cut, the trailing blade, 45 degrees at 0.3 millimeters. And in addition to that, we also want to enable the pounds so that perforation actually does happen. We've had very good experience with just using 0.5 millimeters as a value for blank and 30 millimeters for the value of dash, but you can adjust them as needed. Finally, we're going to uh, manage our queues. We're simply going to go to queue in the menu bar, click manage queues, and then we can select the DTF Multicut Pro as our cutting device for the queue. By doing so, a warning will pop up since this queue already existed. We can just confirm that with yes. Um, as far as the port goes, we always want to make sure to select file here. No other method is supported. Always use file. Um, we're also going to have to take a look at the port properties. The output folder on the top defines where the generated cut files will be placed. So we are simply going to browse. In our use case, we, we simply created a folder on the desktop where we want all of those files to end up. But you can choose any path that you like. We want to make sure that Digital Factory uses the barcode value as file name and a lowercase extension of uh, PLT. The default is uppercase. We just want to make sure to change that. We can confirm that with OK and close this dialog. And at this point, the setup is complete and the Cicabo DTF Multicut Pro is now available within Digital Factory. In the next few videos, we'll be taking a closer look at how to properly configure various use cases. Enjoy!